I think the issues will be in the acute and emergency side of hospital care um, because these are generally pretty arduous jobs with onerous on-call rotors, um, a, a lack of planned activity and, and leads to a rather chaotic uh, work pattern um, with long extended hours, night working, weekend working. And so I see big problems in areas like the emergency department, the intensive care unit. Well, I think we need to look at, at what needs to be done to reduce the demand for that acute care. And there are a number of things that can be done. So within the gift of the hospitals, um, it's about re-looking at the way we deliver care to emergency admitted, patients admitted as emergencies. And that might include greater involvement of care of the elderly physicians, of palliative care physicians, to redirect patients so that it, rather than coming to hospital every time they feel um, unwell is to have some support in the community coordinated perhaps by a care of the elderly physician or someone in, of that ilk to, to give the patients confidence to manage themselves at home because ultimately if we can't engage patients or the public in managing conditions themselves out of hospital with support we're going to be in very serious uh, financial trouble. The point about funding all of this is that, and, and training, is that we need to start training a workforce that is comfortable with dealing with patients at home. And that's starting to happen in some specific conditions. So chronic obstructive lung disease is a, is a condition that is now attracting a lot of interest because the ability to manage patients, for patients to self-manage and for patients to be managed at home is growing very significantly and there's no reason why models like that couldn't be rolled out for cardiac failure for, and for other long-term conditions, for Alzheimer's even, where, where proper support in the home can allow people to manage themselves or be managed or cared for at home and reduce the demand for acute hospital care which is pretty expensive and often very ineffective for these groups of patients.